Sure. Um, hey, everybody. How y'all doing? Uh, got a win today. It was big. I know our guys wanted to play well and, and, and get a win here. And uh, I felt we did what we had to do to win the game. But I'm sure, you know, both, both teams, uh, there were a ton of mistakes uh, that, you know, could normally cost you a football game. Uh, we made we made too many mistakes, and uh, uh, you know we got to correct them. But it's great to win and correct them after a win, obviously. And uh, you know we got we got a lot of work to do. First game, I, you know you expect some of this to happen, whether it's substitutions, whether it's not. You know I had to call a timeout one time. We didn't have enough on the punt return out there. You know just different things like that 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 you got to kind of get used to. Um, early, you know, early in the season, but uh, hopefully we'll make a lot of strides going into next week against Elon, but proud of the guys. Glad we got a good win there. Hey, Russ, John O'Connor from the Richmond Times Dispatch. Uh, did it unfold about like you would have expected in terms of the pace picking up in the second half and the execution seeming to pick up a little bit more in the second half? Yeah, I mean, you know, the first half, you know, kind of went by pretty quick. And, uh, you know, both teams were huddling. Mm -hmm. um, that's something new for us now, for the most part. Now we get in a hurry up every so often, but, you know, and, and it, it really helped us today. I mean, we were huddling and then we got into uh, a hurry up mode and actually uh, converted a couple big plays uh, to help us out. But, um, you know, it, I think the second half, the, uh, Hollis, uh, their quarterback, Hollis Mathis is a great player and, and we were nervous, you know, for the last two weeks of how could we contain him? Obviously you saw him break the one, break out on the one long run there for a touchdown. Um, he, he's electric, uh, threw the ball really, really good. There, you know, a ton of improvement there. Their coaching staff's done a great job with him. And uh, so, uh, you know, I, I thought the second half, you know, we I think we executed the actually the last the last drive for the touchdown and then and then to hang on to the football at the end of the game. You know, those last two for our offense was was tremendous. Coach Natalie Powell about here, congrats on the win. You held them under 75 rushing yards. What was your defensive front able to do so well? Well, I, I th you know, our front seven's pretty good and uh you know, they, they have the ability to get off of blocks. Uh, we got linebackers that can make plays. And uh, so we had a good feeling. And Coach Woods got a great scheme, uh, you know, to defensively. Yeah, we, we actually, you know, probably could have been better. We actually missed some. Uh, you know, the one, the, the one that the, the, the quarterback got, you know, we got two guys standing back there staring at him, and, and he, he makes both those guys – uh, look bad, and then he and then he makes a couple more down the road here. So, I think we could have been better in the run game. We were okay, uh, but but we we got a front seven that's pretty good. Thanks, coach. Hey, Russ, John O'Connor again. Mike London suggested that his team wasn't at full strength because of COVID issues. Did you have comparable issues that? prevented you from being at full strength? No, we were fine COVID. We had everybody available. Uh, we were in good shape there. Now we did have some guys that, that didn't participate that, you know, uh, Avery Close, uh, a backup tight end, uh, Mylon Howard, uh, another offensive lineman, James Snavely. And then obviously we lost Ryan Cole early in that game. Uh, so, you know, we, we were down <coughs> maybe not as much as them because of COVID, but, you know, we were, we were a little bit under man just because we did have a, uh, you know, a few players that are really big time contributors, you know, not available. Um, and then with, you know, with Ryan Cole going down, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, that was a tough one there, but uh, the, the other part of it is we, we had everybody available from COVID, but, guy like Ray Eldridge. Uh, we wanted to roll three tackles, keep him fresh. Ray is our third guy, and, and he just came back uh, from protocol. And so he only practiced on Friday. And we knew 
the most we could get out of him was 10 or 12 snaps when normally, you know, to, in a game like today, we would want to roll those guys and, and you know, and probably get 25 or 30 out of him. So, but he, he was available and he did play and he did help us. Hey, Savon Smith hasn't been a major role player for Richmond. He was today, obviously, a lot of tough yards. Could you say a word or two about his day? Yeah, all those yards were tough against William Mary. I mean, today and in, in, in 2019, they all were tough. It's, it's hard. Uh, you know, they, 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 they use their hands great. They get off of blocks. Uh, they squeeze gaps really well. You know, there's just, you know, not a ton. But Savon, proud of him. I mean, from the first day he showed up here on campus, uh, you know, he came as a walk-on. And, uh, uh, you know, when we, we saw him make some cuts that he made in camp his first year here, we knew we had a guy that could play. And uh, he's proven it. Uh, good player. He'd catch a football. I think he made a really, really nice catch uh, in the fourth quarter there. A tough catch where his helmet comes off. Uh, but good player can make you miss. You know, I think uh, Dykes is a little bit more physical, obviously. But uh, – Savon is, is a really good compliment. Thank you. Hey, Coach, Sean Robertson with CBS 6. Congrats on the win today. Thanks, Sean. Hey, um, now that you got a game under your belt, how did it feel to be back on the sideline in a competitive game for the first time in 67 weeks? I mean, it, it, was, it was a little nerve wracking. Uh, you know, the whole game, I... You know, we got as coaches, I think all of us, you know, we, we got to improve too. I mean, I, I just say there's mistakes, but there's mistakes by coaches, um, you know, all the way across the board. We got to improve along with our football team if we want to do the things that we think we can do here this spring. I think we got good players, enough good players that we can compete with anybody. But, uh, you know, we, we, we got to, I mean, we, we had a lot of mistakes in, in coaching mistakes uh, included, uh, you know, how we were handling substitution and those types of things. So uh, we, we got a lot to clean up, but it's nice to come in on Sunday and clean it up with a win. How important was your depth? I know we talked about it a few times this off season and having so many numbers returning, how, it, how important was that in the victory today? Well, you can see it wide out. You know, we probably played uh, maybe six or seven wide outs in this game. We played both tight ends. Uh, you know, we played uh, uh, Phil O'Connor at linebacker. We played both outside linebackers. Uh, we played uh, safeties, multiple plays, uh, the first and second safety. We played three corners throughout the game. Uh, you know, but but we're pretty young now. We we got we were out there one time with, you know, uh, you know a redshirt freshman, and then two true freshmen in the secondary at any one time there, along with Geo who Geo Siegler who's a redshirt freshman. So we're young in the secondary for sure. But you know they they can they they can make plays and and I feel good moving forward with those guys. Thanks, Russ. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Coach, you got the ball back with uh, just over four and a half minutes left to go in the game, uh, and you never gave it back up. Can you talk about that execution down the stretch to, to milk the clock out? Yeah, that was what, about one of the first things I told the team when I came in the locker room, how proud I was that, you know, I told uh, Coach Darden, I said, Coach, we get two first downs, this thing's over. We haven't done that a lot since I've been here. And, uh, you know, really uh, – you know, you say just get two first downs, you win. It's hard. I know that because you don't want to take chances throwing the football. But, you know, we needed two. Somehow, some way, we got two first downs. Savon helped that cause a lot. Um, and and as a as I looked at the chart, you know, I knew I knew we they couldn't. You know, if, if we got our second first down, I knew they couldn't get the ball back in. Uh, and we did it, and, and the players give them credit. I, I, when I told them I was the most proud I was of the football team today is to, is to go out there, send our offense out there, know you got to get two first downs and the game's over, and they got it done. Thanks, Coach. Anything else for Coach? All right, guys. Appreciate you all. Thank See you. Ya.
Thanks, Coach.